got to experience the sacred ceremony. Why? Because we have access to what we don't even know we have access to. Air, fire, water, dispel. Clockwise into the circle. We normally enter clockwise, the south, the color is red. It represents the heart. It represents the fox or the coyote. It's love. The west represents the bear, the color black, the mountains. It, rep it represents strength and fire. The north represents grandfather, sky, grandmother, earth. It represents our ancestors. It's a white buffalo, color is white. That's where we always ask and turn to when we do any kind of ceremony in a labyrinth or a medicine wheel or sweat lodge. If anybody of you have heard of sweat lodges, they are very ritual oriented, mostly for years spent men only. I was able to participate in the Ignacio when I lived in Durango with a group of women whose father held ceremony for us. So it was very sacred. What I want to share with you tonight, and how you have an experience of, is this particular gourd. And you're all going to have an opportunity to hold it and do something with it that will give you an answer to a question you may have. But I'm going to have Heather um, demonstrate what you'll do. This gourd came to my late husband and I when our son was in risk and in a program we put him in to save his life. It's called Vision Quest and we were actually in the third of our seminars called Visions. So this gourd was made by a man who happened to be in Durango and we saw it and knew it was ours, it was calling us. So I'm going to read directly from the card that the man who carved this explained as the story of the gourd. And Heather's gonna, she's gone through this so she knows what to point out to you. Vision Quest starts with a 64 feather pattern around the gourd. Life starts below the feathers. In the first few years of life, there is very little resistance, just like going through feathers. As you get older, you come to the storm clouds of life. These are represented by these. So take your finger and start to follow that around. Life gets a little bit tougher. You learn as you get older, advancing towards the serpent, that there are many directions your life can go. To get past the serpent, you must conquer your fears of right and wrong. The green eye of the serpent, a piece of emu egg, represents greed and jealousy. If you can conquer these obstacles, you will go far in reaching your goals. Once you have gotten past the serpent, you enter into the maze of life. As you start the maze, you get the feeling that you're going in the wrong direction. Down. Down. Rather than up. Have faith in your abilities. Your knowledge. Continue going forward. Realizing that you learn from your mistakes, that life is a long journey, you continue forward. 
until you reach your vision quest. So each one of you are going to have an opportunity to experience the gourd and I'd invite you to ask a question before you start and listen in whatever way that might be. Hear it, feel it, speak it, see it. Do you want to hand it to him? one of three that I own. It's the heart chakra. When they're all played together, it's the relationship cord. calls you. Once again, see, hear, feel whatever answers, ask it a question. So the gourd came to us at a time where we felt like we didn't know what we were doing. And the man that made it had quit a job of 35 years with the auto industry and decided to start growing gourds. And he had no idea, but he's, it was the first one he carved. He's now become pretty famous, but this gourd has been a symbol many times in my life. And it's helped so many people who have just held it. So my prayer for you 
in this moment, in this time, to just be a witness to your thoughts, your feelings, whatever it is you're asking for, you can receive whatever you need to leave behind when we leave the circle, you can leave it in the circle and take what serves you, your highest good. And I actually would like for each one of you and the team to take a Labradorite heart. I'm going to read to you what that particular stone represents. If I can. Awakening magical abilities stimulates all forms of psychic ability protects the aura from unhealthy habits thank you assist in piercing the veils between the worlds and protects travelers the chakras are all and the elements are all so it truly represents what you're able to access in the circle Thank you for giving me this opportunity and sharing it, and sharing your heart, your soul. It's a gift. <laughs>